Great. So we are looking at money markets. Yeah. So remember what we said about money markets. What we said about money markets is that uh, these are uh, markets for short term, short term lending or borrowing. Good example will be those banks, for example, that uh, borrow from each other, like uh, through what we call overnight borrowing facility so they simply take another bank's money and stay with it the whole night they do whatever they are doing with it the whole night then they return this money the following day that's a money market day a money market model we have ladies and gentlemen banks that borrow for example fortnightly every two weeks one week like that so long as it's a, a borrowing which is less than a year then that borrowing will be what year classified under money markets under money markets like that Great. So for us to understand what money market is all about, I would want us to look at November 2017, question number five, Bo. So November 2017, question number five, Bo. Can I get to know exactly when you guys are able to get this question? If you're able to get this question, can you kindly put your thumbs up? Put your thumbs up, put your thumbs up. Once you get the question, put your thumbs up so that I can know that uh, now we are ready to start. I can see two students only, two students only. Those are very few. I would want to get like 50 of them saying, yes, 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 yes. Now we are ready to start. Now we are ready to start. Great. Great. Is there anybody who has tried that question before? The one of Jackie Maribe? The question of Jackie Maribe, is there anybody who has tried it? Oh. Oh, very many of them have done the question. Very many students have done this question of Jackie Maribe. The question is, where do you get time from? Where do you get time from to do these things? Where do you get time from? Some of us seem to be squeezed time-wise. Where do you get time from, you guys, who are doing these things? Even I don't want to Give us a secret. Give us a secret. We are not talking. Give us a secret. Give us a secret. We are not talking. So I will be able to do the question very fast because or morning hours. I'll be able to do this question very fast. It's the best question that if I want to examine, I would think of uh, putting across because uh, it has got this thing of payable and receivables within the same time frame. Within the same time frame. So you're told Jackie is Limited is a company based in France where the euro is widely used. So meaning that the residence of this particular company is France. So France is the home country, and therefore the euro, which is stated there as the currency of France, is the home currency. The company has recently imported raw materials from the USA and has been invoiced for US dollars to 40,000 payable in three months time. Paragraph two, in addition, the company has exported finished goods to the US, to the USA, and Australia, and Australia, and Australia, the customer in the US has been invoiced for US dollar 69,000, payable in three months time, and the Australian customer has been invoiced Australian dollar 395,000, payable in four months time. The current spot and the forward exchange rates are given as follows. So you can see US dollars per euro spot rate is given there. Three months forward is given there. Then we have euro per Australian dollar also given there. We are told the current money market interest rates per annum are given as follows. All right. So those interest rates will be applicable in money markets, nowhere else. So required 
show how the company can hedge its foreign exchange exposure using forward market cover. For market cover is the same as forward, uh, forward, forward rate, forward exchange rate, forward exchange rate contract, forward exchange rate contract, money market cover. So then the, we shall start doing this question by first of all tackling the first one, which is the forward market cover. So remember here they have given us how many periods? Two periods. We have two time frames. We have the time frame for three months and a time frame for four months. We cannot combine figures uh, in two different periods. We, we have to handle one time frame at a time. And I will start with the three months. So we start with the three months time frame here. So three months time frame. So three months time frame. I would want to know the figures uh, indicated there. Like now they have told us in paragraph number one, in paragraph number one, they have told us the company has recently imported raw materials from USA and has been invoiced for US dollars to 40,000. So in this case here, we have a payable. This is a payable in three months time, remember. So in three months time, we have a payable. In three months time, we have a payable of 240,000 US dollars like that. Great. And again, when you go to paragraph number two, they are telling us, in addition, in addition, the company has exported, when they export, they have sold the goods outside there. So we expect to receive. When they talk of exporting, always you know that's what you are receiving because you've sold goods outside. So in addition, the company has exported finished goods to the USA and Australia. The customer in the USA has been invoiced for US dollar 69,000 Again, payable in three months' time. So you can see the three months' time frame. And this is an export, so it's a receivable. So this is a receivable, 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 receivable of dollar sixty-nine thousand, which in this case is well within what year? The three months' time. We don't have any other three months' time frame transaction. There are only two. So when I get these two payable, receivable in the same month's time frame, I must consolidate the figures. If I fail to consolidate the figures, I will get an entire zero. I'll get an entire zero. So I must consolidate these figures. When I'm consolidating these figures, remember receivable is always positive. Payable is a cash outflow, it's negative. So in this case here, come and give us uh, the net. So the net. So the net in this case, of course, receivable is 69,000. Payable is 240,000. So in this case here, can somebody give me the net, uh, net which will be a payable cost? A payable, because I can see the payable is more than the receivable. So can somebody give me the net figure here? Okay. Just for is saying 45,000, where is just for getting 45,000 from? Let me just go back to the question. Joseph is saying 45,000. Where is 45,000 coming from? I'm not able to really see it uh, totally. Uh, Aha, uh -huh. I'm told that my volume is a bit low. Are you guys able to hear Mwalimu? Are you guys able to hear Mwalimu or is it 171,000? 171,000. 171,000. So in this case here, we have 171,000. We have $171,000 which in this case here is a net payable because it's negative. So basically this is a net payable. So a net payable of dollars what here somebody, 171,000. If the figure, for example, was positive, I would have said a net receivable. I would have said a net receivable. So thank you so much. It's low. I can see so many students confirming that this uh, voice is too low. Give me a minute, give me a minute, I do something. Give me a minute, I do something. Great. So then, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So the net payable in an agreement that we had to combine these two because they're in the same time frame, we cannot hedge those transactions independently. Don't tell me that, Mwalimu, let's hedge this payable first. We hedge this receivable. If we do that, we shall always be wrong. And we shall always be blaming our village witches and yet they have never done anything to us. They are not even that powerful, you know. 
It's not that you have never taken time to appreciate these things. So once I have here the net payable, then I can now go ahead and uh, look for the three months, three months, look for the three months, three months forward. Look for the three months forward exchange rate exchange rate, three months forward exchange rate. So the three months forward exchange rate, is there anybody who is able to see the three months forward exchange rate? Oh yes, I can see it. The three months exchange rate, we are told that three months forward exchange rate. Abracadabra, I'm not using the spot rate, spot rate means today, spot rate means today. So I'm looking for the three months exchange rate. The three months exchange rate, I can see it is 0.95, uh, 0 0.95 20 all the way to 0 0.9525. Unfortunately, up there on top, these guys have given us the representation. It is US dollar per, it is US dollar per euro. It is US dollar per euro. Remember Jackie Maribe. Jackie's company is based in which country? Is based in which country? This company is based in which country? This company is based in which country? You, you can't use a spot rate, you can't use, use spot rate, and yet we are talking about what year. Now, you know, number one is forward contract. The first one that we are doing here is forward contract. Spot rate will be used in money markets always. In money markets always. I hope this is clear. So it's France, isn't it? So France, and they've told us up there that France is using the euro. And if they're using the euro, then the home currency is here. The home currency is here, euro. Euro home currency is on this side. So if the home currency is on the right side, who can talk to me tonight? Which figure is the buying rate? Because when they give us a range like this, one figure will be the buying rate, another figure will be the selling rate. So which figure is the buying rate? Somebody if the euro, the euro, which is the currency of France, where Jackie Maribe's company is based. So in this case, you're right. Then if euro is on the right, this becomes buy, and this becomes who? This becomes sell. This becomes buy and this becomes sell. So then could you kindly talk to me again tonight? Once I've been able to identify like which one is the buy, which one is the sell, what do you think will be the next step for us? What do you think will be the next step for us? So please never confuse. Normally you go as per the position of your home currency. If the home currency is on the right side, then the right figure becomes buy. The right figure becomes buy. That I've explained severally. All right, so then what do you think will be the next, the role of the bank? You guys are very sharp. You guys are very sharp. And then there is this notion that uh, the students who are uh, always answering questions, like they are repeaters. That's a wrong concept. I can tell you most of the guys who are answering this, like Joseph Fato Uma is not a repeater. Omar is not a repeater. Navensi, and there's so many other guys I can see like Anderson, they're not repeaters. They're not repeaters. It's all about your individual what year effort. Even if you are a repeat, I mean, there is no guarantee that uh, you're really understanding this thing. We must get out of our way. Ladies and gentlemen, trust you me, since the time that, uh, you know, initially we used to teach this subject for how many months? Five months. Now they have brought this thing to about two and a half months, half the period. So since they shortened the, the period, which is a, a nice thing for the students so that they can now clear their CPAs much faster. But now there is one big problem, the pressure to understand. The pressure to understand is so high. And that is why I always keep on telling my students that once, especially you come to this level, you are doing, say, four papers at this level, four papers at this level. Trust you me, you must tell all your friends that for these two months, like now we have about one and a half months left, tell all your friends that they have to give you all the support by staying away from you for some time. That, that is not, this is now my me time. Tell all your friends, including your boyfriends, your girlfriends, and your spouses. Tell them that, uh, you know what? And even children. Don't, don't uh, put off uh, them away 100%, but that is the truth of the matter. If they want to come and uh, really celebrate you having passed, these things, to understand them in one and a half months, you need to dedicate a lot of time. You must cut some sleep. You must cut some sleep. You can't afford to sleep for eight hours and then you expect to celebrate. Trust you me, you will fail. You will fail and fail miserably, fail miserably. So now we are all of us in agreement that we have to really focus on these four papers that we have to ensure that, uh, you, you know, the moment you start failing in one paper, two papers, you start mark timing there, mark timing a soldier who mark times is a soldier who makes movements on the same spot. 
same level. You're only taking one leg up, another leg up like that, and then you are not moving, in this case here, ahead, which is bad. We don't want to mark time. We'd want to do, in this case here, what we call a fast march, a fast march forward, marching forward like that. And how do we do it? You look at, for example, somebody who is doing four papers, honestly, honestly, and I will not mention names here, four papers, honestly, at this level, and this guy is still swallowing a beer. Like, you know, there must be somebody who has uh, dropped about four beers in his stomach and he's in this class. And you want to pass. International disaster is waiting, is ahead of you, is ahead of you. We shall overcome. Has to pause, yes. <laughs> you can <laughs> they know themselves, of course. They know themselves, of course. They don't so we, we have really to focus on this thing. It's very important. It's very important. So three months forward, here we are. So come and give us the role of the bank. Give us the role of the bank. I told you, now here you don't have to reason at all. Don't reason at all. This one is a net payable. It's a net payable. And the for payable, what I know, I always uh, take this as my benchmark. My benchmark is always the foreign boyfriend. My benchmark is always the foreign boyfriend. My benchmark is always the foreign boyfriend. This, what do you know about foreign boyfriends? A foreign boyfriend buys dinner. A foreign boyfriend buys. So basically here, we are saying that the bank will do what here the bank will buy. And remember, foreign boyfriend is about receipt. R stands for receipt. So for receivable, for receipt, always the bank will buy. And then now the opposite is true for the bank. Anytime we have, so this is for receivable. This is for receivable. The receivable bank will always buy. And then we have payable. And then we have payable. The bank will always do what here, somebody. The bank will always, will always, will always, the bank will always sell. The bank will always sell. The bank will always sell. Great, truthful man. Payable. <laughs> payable. So this is net payable. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't hedge these things separately. If you hedge these things separately, you will fail. You must consolidate them. And the consolidated number here happens to be negative, meaning it's a, a cash outflow, meaning that the number here, the net figure here will be a net payable. And because you are handling a, a net payable, we are saying here, yeah, therefore, the bank will sell. So the bank will sell. So the bank will sell at how much? The bank will sell, at, are you able to see the selling rate? The bank will sell at how much? The bank will sell at 0 0.9520 dollars per euro, per euro. Thank you so much. And then, then if that is the case, could you kindly move ahead and do the last step? The last step is for you to exchange. The last step is for you to exchange. The last step now is for you to exchange. The last step is for you to exchange. So go ahead and exchange for us. Go ahead and exchange for us. And remember that the very best way of exchanging is to use mother tongue. Please ensure that you are using mother tongue here. Come and tell us in the exchange, you're writing this in capital letters. And then of course you do what you underline. So you're saying here from the selling rate, it is 0 0.9520 USD equals one euro equals one euro. How about 171,000 US dollars? How about 171 US dollars? So if I cross multiply like this, I will get 171,000 times one divided by 0 0.9520, which will end up giving us what figure somebody? Thank you very much, uh, Lois uh, Chepkoech. Louis Chepkoech, 179, 179, Esther Koth, great, 622, 622. The only thing you guys never told me is whether these are cows. Are they cows? We use them to pay dowry. You must always tell us the currency. If you don't give us the currency, we shall deny you one mark. And you know, in AFM, one mark is everything to you. It can make you see places that you have never seen before. It can make you see places that you've never seen before. So here, I know that the dollar dollar will cancel out, leaving me with my home currency. Because after all, they wanted the home car, the home currency. They wanted the home currency. They wanted the whole car, home currency. Thank you so much. So now up to there, are we together up to there? 
are we together up to there are we together up to there are we together up to there yes thank you very much so then i will be able to straight away ladies and gentlemen look at uh, this thing here now money market so i don't want to do four months i'll do four months later I would want to do the forward contract for three months. And then we do, in this case here, the money market, money market for three months. We finish the three months time frame. Oh, before I proceed. Jeu kienda kwa exam upato mechanga ni kiwa is rates. How you nigani sell and nigani buy? Ukienda kwa exam exam upato mechanga ni kiwa 100%. What should you do? Somebody cry. What should you do? Because also knowing some of these secrets, it's very, very important. Upoto mechanga nikiwa ujui ni gane buy, ujui ni gane. Unajua kuna siku, kuna mambo fanyika. What if unasema buy, sell? Inefeo kwa mutiani, something is not working up. Maybe working out, I mean, maybe your employee is disturbing you. That day unapoto mechanga nikiwa 200%. It's human. It's human. Piki, piki, ponki. And then you pick the best, eh? <laughs> By luck. <laughs> shake hands? No, no, no. That time, mata Thomas mechanga nikiwa shake hands, ujui. Ule mtu amesema ukweli ni Benjamin Wosire. Benjamin Wosire amesema utafanya zote mbili. Useme if the exchange is, rate is this. This is the answer. And then number two, if the exchange rate is this. The examiner, we are trained to always pick the correct one. We shall mark the correct one. And actually by doing that, people will think that you are demonstrating broad and deep understanding of the subject and yet you are really confused in an exam. So unafanya zote mbili, zote mbili. Ukendo changanikiwe kabisa, unafanya zote mbili. Kiyoko anasema time. Kiyoko, Kiyoko, time, trust you me. For the years that I've been an invigilator uh, for CASNEB, I've never had students having a problem with finishing an AFM paper. Actually, students take like two hours. Two hours, they are finished because they have written everything that they know. Actually, even two hours is too much, even one hour. They've finished everything that they know. And then most of the time, most of the usual students now, they'll only be looking at the ceiling. So. Kyoko, there will be no issue that uh, you will uh, suffer from. Like, that's AFR. AFR, fine. But AFM, trust you me, whatever you know, we'll have finished uh, writing it in one and a half hours. So, three months time frame, three months time frame, three months time frame, three months time frame, three months time frame. But this time round, we are using Maneotia. Money markets. Even with this one, ladies and gentlemen, when I money markets, what do you think should be the very first thing that you need to do in any money markets question? Please talk to me. In any money markets question, <laughs> in any money markets question, what do you think should be the very first thing you need to do? <laughs> no, 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 no. The rule. The rule. The rule. So remember, we have two rules in money markets. One, two, we have foreign boyfriend, buys dinner, buys dinner. And then we have, in this case here, this foreign payment, borrow local. So this local boyfriend will even sell you. He doesn't care. All right. Buys dinner, sorry. Buys dinner. Buys dinner. So remember here, we have what we call the net payable. Oh, sorry for the sake of the new students. This FR stands for foreign, foreign receipt, borrow foreign, foreign receipt, borrow foreign, foreign receipt, you borrow foreign. And then we have here foreign payment, borrow local, foreign payment, borrow local, foreign payment, borrow local. Saumu, great, great. So this is a, a net payable question. Remember, we have a net payable. We have a net payable of 171,000. And since then, since it is a payable question, a payable question, we shall use, we shall use, we shall use rule number two. We shall use rule number what here? We shall use a rule number two. So first of all, up to there, are we together really? We shall use rule number two here because it's a payment, foreign payment. Foreign payment, you borrow local. Since it's a payment, payable question, we shall use rule number two, which is a FP, BL. I.E., 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 Jackies, 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 Jackies will borrow 
a foreign, a foreign, a foreign currency, a foreign currency, a foreign currency uh, denominated loan. Denominated loan. Denominated loan. Denominated loan. We'll borrow a foreign currency because of this foreign payment. Borrow local. Ah, since it's a payable question, we shall use rule number two. Foreign, foreign payment. Borrow local. I.e. Jackie is limited. We'll borrow a local currency. A local, sorry for that. A local currency denominated what year? Denominated loan. Remember foreign payment? You always borrow local. Foreign payment, you always borrow local. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Great. So after knowing the rule that is applicable, then I will be able to go ahead with what you guys are devised. I should not be able to go ahead and draw a table. Ataka masi understand chochote. Ataka masi understand chochote. Na chukua ruler kwa exam. Because, you know, after all, students buy rulers on exams which they don't even use at all. So I'll take my ruler here. I will take my ruler here and draw a table. I will take my ruler here and the other you understand here three months mature table. And then at least my table in a fact were very normal, just like in our homes. Just like in our homes, just like in our homes. Uki pata mtu, ukienda kwa nyumbu pata mtu meka kitamba juu ya meza. Juu kuna shi, juu vitu ilisha squeezy. Imesha. Kuna vitu ambayo imeza kuisha with time. Ata cut and squeeze ya tuwe kwa manyumba. Squeeze na kele grass ukiwa, ukiwa ndani, naona kila kitu inje. Lakini mtu wako inje, akuoni. So unapata nyumba iko light. Hata panya ipati mali pa kuka. Right? So usiweze usiweze kupamba meza yako, usiweze kupamba meza. Ah, hiyo ni vitu vingi too much. Naleta tasma na vitu vingine. No, 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 no. Walk light, walk light. Walk light, walk light. So in this case here table. Oh, nimevuta haraka. Oh, oh, sorry. Jose, Jose, tumesema namna gani note 2 kwamba tunatumia rule number 2. And rule number two is foreign payment, borrow local. Foreign payment. You see, Jackie is, Jackie is required to make a payable at the end of the day. It's a foreign payable. And therefore, she has to borrow local. So we have said here that Jackie is limited, will therefore borrow local. Otherwise, I'm going to borrow local. I'm going to borrow a local denominated what year currency like that. Borrow local, borrow local, borrow local, borrow local. So I hope now John and John ama ni John. Wewe kwa sababu nimevuta haraka. Tuko pamoja paka hapa sasa sasa tuko pamoja. Tumeanza kuchora meza sisi wote sasa. Tumechora meza sisi wote. Mtu asibaki nyuma. Hii ndio swali ya mwisho tunafanya. Hii ndio swali ya mwisho tunafanya. Kabisa thank you very much. Just say yes. Thank you very much. Great. Sasa wewe hata kama uelewi kuja hapa mguu ya kwanza kabisa andika in capital letters. Boro. In capital letters boro. Lafa purandika na mnagani somebody invest. Apo umesema na mnagani from your rule, umesema borrow what year somebody local. And the local to us, Jackie, Jackie is limited, is a, a France company, and France they're using the euro. So you're borrowing local. And then on this other side, ladies and gentlemen, we shall invest the other currency. We've got only two currencies. So in this case, on this other side, we shall invest the, the US dollar. We shall invest the US dollar. We shall invest the US dollar. Who, would, who can remind us here? What do we do in between here? In between the two, what do we do? What do we do in between the two? The two currencies exchange, isn't it? Yes, exchange at spot rate. Exchange at spot rate. Exchange at spot rate, you are right. Exchange at spot rate. And let's address this. So remember the euro to France, the euro to US dollar, wametupatia spot rate. Oh, yeah. Ukiangalia po jio three months, wametupatia wakasema ni 0 0.9830 to 0 0.9850, 50, 50, 50. Again, these are US dollars, US dollars per what year somebody? US dollars per euro, per euro. And then remember that uh, this lady, Jackie's Limited is in France, which is making use of the euro. So euro is the home currency. Where is the euro here in this representation? It is on the right side. 
the home currency is on the right side. And if it's on the right side, then the right figure here becomes buy always. If you shake your hand, the right figure, the right figure becomes buy. The other one automatically becomes sell. And if you remember, if we are using this rule for rent payment, borrow local, we know local always sells. Local boyfriend will always sell you. Will always sell you, local boyfriend. Although don't interpret them in uh, practice like that. This is just a joke. This is just but a joke. We have local boyfriends who are very good who are very good, who know how to maintain families. So in this case here, we are saying that uh, because it's a uh, foreign payment, borrow local, and uh, we are using the sell principle, then we are saying exchange at spot rate at the selling rate, at selling rate, at selling rate. And the selling rate is 0 0.9830 US dollars, US dollars per euro, like that, US dollars per euro. US dollars per euro. So we exchange or we convert one and the same language, convert at spot, which in this case we have said is at selling because of the rule that we are using here. The rule we are using is rule number two, which of course borrow local, local will always sell. Foreign will always, in this case here, buy you dinner, buy you dinner. Now there is one thing that I would want you guys now to do for me, which is a big favor. Should we borrow the local currency, which is Euro, what interest rate are we going to pay here? What will be the interest rate which will be applicable to us? If we borrow the euro, if we borrow the euro, if we borrow the euro, somebody there is an interest rate table given there. There is an interest rate. You know, euro is France. 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 Borrowing, are you able to see 13%? Borrowing, 13%. So I'll come and say abracadabra, 0.13 times something over something. So times something, this something is what somebody who is able to follow there because it has to be time prorated. It has to be time prorated, three months years. So times three over 12 plus something, somebody, somebody remind me a plus. There is something that you must always add here, which so many students forget. There is something for purpose of compounding we must always add here, which is what somebody there, which is one because of the one plus the rate of interest for compounding, for compounding. Then could you kindly go ahead and give me this answer? Could you kindly go ahead and give me this answer? Could you kindly go ahead and give me this answer? Is there somebody who is able to give me this answer? Is there somebody who is able to give me this answer? Thank you very much, Mogambi. Mogambi, at least I've seen your home. It doesn't have a curtain. That's very good. Very good, very good, very good. Great, so 1.0325. So we have here 1.0325, 1.0325. Then come here to the investment. So investing, which is the same as lending. You see investing is the same as lending. Investing is the same as lending. Is there somebody who can give me the US dollar, the US dollar borrowing rate, the US dollar borrowing rate? Not, not, not borrowing, lending rate, US dollar. US dollar lending rate, lending, investing, investing 10%. So then this 10% also has to be time prorated. The 10% has to be time prorated. The 10% has to be time prorated. So it'll come and give us here 0 0.1 times three over 12 plus one as usual, which will end up giving us what figure somebody? Uh -huh. Which will end up giving us what figure, ladies and gentlemen, 1.025. 1.025. Hapa najua shetani ni muongo. Shetani ni muongo sana. Tena kitena kitumbaya. Utapata mwanafunzi hapa ameanza kusema times 4 over 12. There is no way these two legs will ever have a different proration fraction. If you use 3 over 12 here, here we must also use 3 over 12 like that. Thank you so much. I think I've done most of the things now. So then could you kindly advise me? Could you kindly advise me? What do you think now will be the next step if you are really following this thing? What do you think will be the very next step? Feature pesa, feature pesa, feature pesa, chini ya meza, pesa, the money involved. So what money is involved in this question? What amount is involved in this question? What amount is involved in this question? What amount is involved in this question, ladies and gentlemen? What amount is involved in this question? It is the...
sorry, sorry. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. So if, if, if I do, <laughs> if I come and put, you see, one seventy one thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, is what we have as the amount in the question. But now, if I come and put it here, don't you think it is Satan himself who is speaking to my ears? Uh huh. What do you think? Remember, in this case, now pesa na future pesa chini ameza. Na future pesa chini ameza. Like if you are asking me, I'm going to sana. You don't just come and place this money anyhow, Lee. You can't put this one seventy-one thousand dollars here because the foot for dollars is here. U.S. dollars is here, here. So come and put this one hundred and seventy-one thousand here. 171,000 US dollars there. And then now you can use your language. Uh, we know that up, we shall always do what here somebody up. Up, what shall we always do for up? Up we divide, isn't it? Up we divide. So up you divide with this figure. Up you always divide. So what is 171,000 divided by 1.025? And I want a whole number without decimals. When you go to money markets, you are a rich man. Rich man rules, rich men rules tell you to keep change. So up you're dividing, you're taking this divided by this. Give me a figure to write here. 166, 829. 829. And remember that these are still what here, US dollars. So remember in your calculator, I know you have decimals there. But for purpose of exchanging, we shall discard all those decimals. We shall discard all the decimals. So then come, ladies and gentlemen, here. Now here we are exchanging. So during exchanging, you must do it the mother tongue way. When you are exchanging, you must always do this the mother tongue way. So when you are exchanging, we are saying here that 0 0.9830 US dollar equals one euro, equals one euro. How about 166,829 dollars? So you write this number afresh. You write this number afresh. 166, 829 times one divided by this. Give me a number I write. Okay, so remember, ladies and gentlemen, that this 171,000, if you remember, the amount in the question is $171,000. So $171,000, you need to come and hide this under the table, one of the uh, legs of this table. One under the uh, one 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 of the legs under one of the legs of this table, and the one seventy one being U.S. dollars, you can't hide it here. You put it where on this side. You put it on this side, and then now your work will be to move all around up to here. You move all around up to here. One seventy one thousand U.S. dollars. You divide up. You always divide, which gives us one six six eight twenty nine. And then now from here to here, we are exchanging and we have the exchange rate, which is this one here, which says 0 0.9830 US dollars equals one euro. How about those number of dollars? So if you cross multiply, you will take this times this divided by this. What figure are we getting somebody here? What figure are we getting somebody here? Somebody is giving me a figure of 169,714. But here we have 169,714 euros now these are the euros now and then now down what do we do downwards what do we do downwards when you're moving down when you're moving downward so up we divide down we multiply down we multiply so down you are taking this number times this number please give me a number to write here 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 it gives me 175 230, 175, 230 euros, 230 euros, 175, 230 euros, 175, 230 euros. Thank you very much. So then can you kindly advise me tonight after I have reached there, what do you think will be the next step? What do you think will be the next step? Do we start dancing, celebrations? Summary, summary, summary. For purpose of advising the management, yes. Summary. So come and give us the summary. Give us the summary then. Give us the summary. 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 
So summary, so we have here forward contract. How much? Money market, how much? For money market, I know money market, I know the amount. So for money market, I know the final amount is this. For money market, I know it is 175 to 30 euros. Euros like that. Euros. How about forward contract? Is there somebody who can remind us the forward contract amount? How about the forward contract amount? Is there anybody who is able to remind us that amount? Forward contract amount? Is there anybody who can remind us the forward contract amount? 179, 622. 179, 179, 622 euros. So then what do you think will be the better thing for the management to do? What do you think will be the better thing for the management to do? What do you think will be the better thing for the management to do? What do you think will be the better thing for the management to do? Should they invest in money markets? Consider forward where events you have Remember that this is a payable question. This is a payable question. And if it's a payable question, you would want to have whatever amount being paid and minimized. It's an expense to the company. It's an expense to the company. So we'll advise these guys to go for the strategy that minimizes cost. So consider money markets, yes. Consider money markets. The company should make use of what, yeah? Money markets to save some expense, to save some cost. The company, 175,000 is much better than 179,000. The company now should use money markets. Thank you so much. So with your permission, can I go now to the four months time frame? Because it is four months here. Lesser payment, yes. Can I go to four months? Yes. So we go to four months very fast. We go to four months very fast. We go to four months very fast. So four months, what do we have here for four months? For four months, what do we have here for four months? So for four months, Four months, four months, four months. Then this thing has also a problem because I think it mutes itself. So I don't know whether it's when I shout too much, but no. So we are told here, in addition, the company has exported finished goods to the USA and Australia. The customer in the USA has been invoiced for US dollar 69,000 payable in three months. That three months we are already done with it. Done and dusted. And the Australian customer has been invoiced Australian dollars, 395,000 payable now in four months. So four months time frame, four months time frame. So the amount is 395,000 Australian dollars. So then I would need a four months, I would need a four months exchange rate. I would need a four months exchange rate and I would want to give you exactly two minutes. You try this, try it, try it, try it, try this. Again, muted. No, now it's okay. Four months, please pressurize yourself. Put some pressure to your thinking. I know guys are a bit tired, but always just like, what my gym teacher told, tells me, and at times uses some force, right? I'm a wajudo. Wajudo nakuja na kuambia, hit, for example, left, tona za kuhit, right. Hata kutandika teke sa zingine. So hata saimine nataka ni watandika teke maale muko, of course, hapa tukombali, hakuna teke na za kutandika. Jadi kujisumbwa, jitume, jiskume. Hato kikosea, so what? Look for the four months exchange rate. Try to exchange yourself. Bila kuogopa, hato kikosea, so what? I mean, we learn through mistakes. We learn through mistakes. We learn through mistakes. So we'd want to see some numbers coming here now. So 
So where is the four months exchange rate? I look for it so seriously. I look for four months exchange rate. Let me hear what they're saying. Let me hear what they're saying. Says give up the Kyo Bonafunzi. Saizi. I really work very hard. Like Ravensi has already gotten a figure there. Great. Grace has also gotten a figure there. And all of them are getting the same figures. All of them are getting the same figures. All of them are getting the same figures. Seven seventy six forty five. Please give me your figures. Please give me your figures. It doesn't matter whether you are wrong. The thing that I want is my students here to stretch and make themselves, in this case, here tired. Great. So let's do this together now. Thank you so much. Let's do this together. Thank you so much. I can see that these guys have already managed to get the four months. They've managed to get the four months exchange rate because these are four month, a four months forward cover. A four months forward cover. They have seen down there where we have the euro to Australian dollar. They have seen four months. They've seen four months forward cover. They have seen four months exchange rate. So we have here 1.9510 to 1.9540. Then we have here the euro per what year? per Australia dollar. You don't have to write one. <laughs> so between the two, which one is the home currency? Between the two, which one is the home currency? Remember this Jack is limited, which is based in France. And the France's currency, they told us up there is the Euro. So the home currency is the Euro. So then if this is the home currency, it happens to be on the left side, on the left side. So even in an exam, you simply raise up your hand and you shake it. Don't fear anyone, so long as you don't touch anybody, you. Don't touch anybody around you. So in this case, you raise up your hand, you shake like this. So in this case, your euro is on the left side. So the left figure becomes what somebody here becomes buy. And this one here becomes who? Becomes sell. Because home car the position of your home currency will always be your position for the buy. Home currency. Home is on the left. Euro is on the left, so this becomes the buy. And if that is the case, then I will go straight away and define the role of the bank. Role of the bank. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, that this amount is receivable. I can even write it here. If it's receivable, I know what the bank normally does in terms of receivable. So in terms of receivable, is there somebody who can remind us what is the role of the bank when we have a client receiving foreign money? Bank buys, isn't it? Bank buys. Bank buys, bank buys, bank buys. So receivable, the bank buys. So in this case here, bank buys, bank buys, bank buys. So in this case, it will buy at what rate? At 19510 euro per Australian dollar. It will buy here, it will buy here, it will buy there, it will buy there. So then we can now take up the last thing. The last thing is to exchange. You exchange. So exchange this in mother tongue. We know this is 1.9510 euro. Euro equals one Australian dollar. How about in this case here, this 395,000 Australian dollars? How about 395,000 Australian dollars? So in this case here, if you try to cross multiply there, it will be 19510 times 395,000. So I know the ASDSD will cancel out, giving me an answer in terms of what are you? Euros. And how many euros will you guys uh, get when you multiply? How many euros are we getting when we multiply? How many euros are you getting when we multiply? How many euros are we getting when we multiply? 771, 830. 771, 830. 771, 830. And remember, these are not your ordinary goats. These are what you're somebody. These are euros. These are euros. These are euros. These are euros. 
Is it supposed to be 771, 830 really? I don't see many of them giving me 770, 645, 770, 770, 770. Where do you think 770, 645 euros? Because I saw someone else giving me this answer of 771, 830, where do you think are they getting it wrong? Where do you think in this competition are they getting it wrong? Did they pick, for instance, uh, the selling rate? They pick the selling rate? Because I've seen like two or three students getting this 771, 830. Ah, they picked selling. They thought it's pay, payable. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you tried, you really went ahead to use some energy. That is even what the Bible tells us is blessed. You tried, you tried. So the thing is, have you now known how to differentiate between the selling and the payable? Have you known how to differentiate? They missed the role of the bank. If you miss the role of the bank, you will always get it wrong. That role of the bank is very, very important. Foreign boyfriend, bank buys. Foreign boyfriend is receivable. Receivable, receivable, in this case, you always buy. Receivable, always buy. 395,000, 395, thank you, 395,000, yes. But trust you me, still the answer will be the same, I suppose. I suppose, just fat. you're correcting me for purposes of a posterity future, these people will be watching this video. Thank you so much. So have we finished doing the question? Have we finished doing the question? No, no. We are yet to do the money market. We are yet to do the money market. So then if you allow me, I will come very fast here and write four months time frame. But this time round using money market. This time round using money market. This time round we are using money market. This time round we are using money market. So we have here four months frame, time frame. But money markets here, abracadabra, tell me the rule that I, I will use in this question. Remember the amount is 395,000, 395,000 receivable. Tell me the rule that will be used here. Tell me the rule that will, will be used here. Josephat is saying that we check the answer, 771,830. Josephat wants us to check the answer. Just for once, us check the answer. Maybe he's right. The other one, three ninety-five thousand times. Just for what do you have here for your selling rate? If I may ask, just for what is your selling rate? Is it one point nine five, or rather, your 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 buying rate? The buying rate, the buying rate, the buying rate. Is it one point nine five one zero? Just for because many students cannot be wrong, really. Is it 1.9? So if you try, if you cross multiply, just, just multiply yourself. Get your calculator, go, get your calculator and then you multiply yourself. Get your calculator and multiply yourself. Get your calculator and multiply yourself and then you advise us whether it's 771. 395,000 times 1.9510 if you multiply yourself. What are we getting there? Just for do you have a calculator? It's correct, great. Thank you so much. So they're telling me because it's a receivable, then this is the rule that we are using. This is the rule we are using. It's foreign receipt, receipt, borrow foreign currency. Jackie's currency is the Euro, Euro. So we have Euro and we have Australian dollar, the two car and the, between the two currencies, then if you're saying borrow foreign, this lady will borrow the Australian dollar. And then invest here, the Euro, the Euro, this is what it'll invest. So we want to remain silent a little bit for five minutes, see where there is anybody will be able to get the correct answer very fast for money market. Thank you, Naboke. Naboke says that the 395,000 payable uh, is confusing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll be able to explain there. Now, remember this second paragraph. How does it read? It reads, in addition, the company has exported. So when they export goods there, for example, in your book, I know from your area, you export tea leaves. When you export 
what do you expect? Do you expect to receive? It is available to the person who is there, but for us clients who are in Kenya, we expect to receive. So because it's an export, so here we have exported to this Australian customer who has now been invoiced to Australian dollar, 395,000 payable in four months time. Thank you for bringing up that. So remember it's an export, even if it's written payable, you know for sure that this is an export. So we exported the goods, we expect to receive. So Jackie Limited, so it's a receivable to Jackie's Limited Company. Okay, great, great. So I'm waiting to see whether there is any single student who will be able to get this correctly after drawing especially. Great. Better return. I like what Opoman is saying here. Great. Great. So you are the ones in this case who have told me here. Remember, this is by sell. Always use the spot rate. Eh? In my markets, we always use the spot rate. And since the spot given is 1.8890 to 1 1.8920 right and then this is represented as euro per australian dollar euro is jackie's home currency which is on the left side so the left figure automatically becomes buy and you're the ones who have told me because we are making use of this rule the bank will buy so convert at spot rate which is the buying rate the buying rate the buying rate which in this case here basically is what here is 1.88 8890 euro per what year somebody per Australian dollar. Australian dollar. 
Great, thank you very much. Now from there, borrowing of the Australian dollar will, will cost me what interest rate there? Borrowing of the Australian dollar from that table given down there, borrowing of the Australian dollar will cost me what interest rate? 16%. So 0.16 times four over 12 plus one. How about investing the Euro, which is a France currency? Investing the Euro, investing is the same as lending. Investing a France currency will cost me an interest of 0 0.115 times four over 12 plus one always. So then could you kindly give me this figure? Kindly give me this figure. Kindly give me this figure. Kindly give me this figure. What do we have here, somebody? Kindly give me this figure. Kindly give me this figure. Kindly give me this figure. So according to Navensi and uh, Grace, uh, we are talking of 10, 10, 533, right? 533. Three. We have to agree. Four decimal places is okay. Four decimal places is okay. How about investing side? This figure here, what do we have? Somebody here, investing side? The investing side? 10, 8, 10, 3, 83. 10, 3, 83 with a decimal there. From here, ladies and gentlemen, now we shall come and put the money in the question underneath the legs of my table. This is 395,000 Australian dollar. So if it is 395,000 Australian dollar, I shall come and put this figure under the Australian dollar. 395,000 there. Sells. Is there somebody who brought and put this money here? Don't cheat anybody. Don't cheat anybody. You should never cheat people at all. Don't. Is there anybody who put great years? So please, next time, be very keen. Remember, this amount here is what here is Australian, is Australian dollar. So put it under the foot of Australian dollar. Thank you very much for being that courageous. You know, some of these things, you can't really hide them. Eh? You can't cheat them. Just like pregnancy, you cannot hide this. At the end of the day, we will know. So it's good you talk to us now. We get to know how to assist you. Great. So in this case here, then up, what do we do up? What do we do up now? What do we do up? What do we do up? We divide, isn't it? We divide. So 395,000 up, you divide. Please give us a figure. Please give us a figure. Please give us a figure there. Please give us a figure up. So we divide. Eh? So somebody's giving me 375,012. 375,012. But remember, these are still Australian dollar. And then remember from here to here, there is a conversion rate. You do it manually. So go ahead and convert. So it is 1.8890 euros equals one Australian dollar. So in a quarter 375, 012 Australian dollar. So how about this? Thank you, Grace. Up we divide, down we multiply. Uh -huh. So Cecilia Chege. She's giving me 708,375. 708,375 euro. So remember this one here, when you cross, it will be 375,012 times this, divided by one. So ASD, ASD will cancel out, giving me euros. And then down, in this case here, you multiply. Down, you multiply. So is there somebody who has been able to multiply here and give us an answer? So according to Cecilia Chege, who is a new student, very aggressive student, really, is she new or is, has she started speaking now? 735, 5.30, sorry. 735, 7.35, 5.30 or 5.29, 5.30, 5.30 euros. Now, there is not even a single student who got this answer. The students who are giving me, Answers, not even one who got this answer. Not even one who got this answer. 735, I don't remember seeing that answer really. Ah, Grace, I don't remember seeing that answer. Mary, are you writing even capital letters? Sure. Fortunately, I should be able to, I should be able to just go here. Ah, yes, they're up here. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, they got, most of them, they got, thank you very much. And then now you should be able to, sir, you should be able to summarize, isn't it? You should be able to summarize. So this is the final amount. 
the final amount in your home currency. Euro is the final amount in your home currency, in your home currency. So then go ahead and give us a summary there. So go ahead and give us a summary. Go ahead and give us a summary. Go ahead and give us a summary. So we have here forward contract, forward contract, and then we have money markets. So money markets, this one here, 735, 530 euro. How about forward contract? Is there somebody who is able to remind us what forward contract gave us? Anybody who is able to remind us what the forward contract gave us? Ah, great, 770, 645. 770, 645 euro. Thank you so much. So in terms of advisory, remember that this is, this is a receipt. This is a receipt, receivable. So for receivable, the higher, the better. For receivable, the higher, the better. For receivable, the higher, the better. Thanks, Cecilia, great. So in this case, which one is going to give these guys a, a higher amount? It is 770, isn't it? Therefore, we advise that they hedge using forward contract. We advise that they hedge using forward contract. We advise they hedge using forward contract. Grace, thank you very much. And today, I think there is something I haven't yet done. I haven't given anybody a present, which is very bad. How do I want to finish a class without giving a present? But before I do that, I would want us to look at, uh, unless there is a question, I would want us to look at uh, May 2017, May 2017, question number 4B. Now this is a present question. May 2017, question number 4B. So as an examiner, this is an area I would want uh, to emphasize, emphasize if I were an examiner, you know, there are examiners who are just sadists, the ones who hate students. You don't give students a forward rate expressly. You ask them, to calculate a forward rate using, for example, interest rate parity first. You know, when you tell them to calculate an exchange rate, be assured as an examiner, you'll have scored by throwing out over this bus that is going to cast neighbor, carrying students who are going to pass, of course. You'll have succeeded a big time by throwing them outside before they reach the destination. They'll fail very many of them. They'll fail very many of them, like it happened in May 2017 in May 2017. So required, so first of all, do we have that question? Do we have that question, May 2017, question number 4B? Yes, May 2017, question number 4B. So required, they wanted us to use the interest rate parity relationship to compute the five month forward exchange rate as a 31st May 2017. 2017. So I'd want to give you exactly one minute. We see whether you'll be able to get that forward. So we are reading up there. Biashara Limited is an import export company based in Kenya. On 1st January 2017, the company exported coffee worth US dollars 140,000 to the United States of America on a five month credit period. So I can see the exchange rate in the Forex market are expected to be as follows. So we have today's 1st January 2017, the spot is 100. The lending and the borrowing rates have been given there. Those ones I know I'll use them in money markets. They're quite nice. I love them because the examiner has not tried to trick me, right? The importer will settle the outstanding amount on 31st May 2017. So can somebody in this case here use interest rate parity to compute this five months for the exchange rate? And then we see how far we shall go with this question. Okay. So then we are looking at how to predict the forward exchange rate using interest rate parity. Using interest rate parity. This is so, so nice. This is so, so nice. This is so, so nice. How to predict this using interest rate parity. 
So interest rate parity, ladies and gentlemen, how does it look like? So we have here forward equals spot into one plus interest country C, all over one plus interest country B. You can even put different brackets or even one bracket, big bracket. So the spot, the spot here is the first one given there for first January, 2017. Spot is when this transaction started. Remember the question we are told, Biashara Limited is an import export based company in Kenya on 1st January when we started there, 2017. So then the X, this is 100 spot uh, Kenya shillings per US dollar, Kenya shillings per US dollar. So then in this particular expression, which one is the numerator country? Which one is the numerator country, numerator? Numerator country, if you look at this, this is Kenya over USA. So it means that this is interest in Kenya, interest in Kenya over interest in the US, like that. But this examiner was a crazy examiner. He gave us two interests. So which interest should we use? Are we using borrowing rate? Are we using, in this case here, uh, lending rate? Ladies and gentlemen, remember here, this question is a receivable question. So here I have to borrow from, this is a receivable question. So I have to borrow from money markets foreign, borrow foreign. I have to borrow in this case here, this concept, I have to use the concept of money market. It's a foreign receipt. So I have to borrow, remember in money markets, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have? If I just draw a small table here. So I'm saying here, borrow foreign. So I'm borrowing US dollar, and then I will invest, I will invest in Kenya. 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 Ah, so meaning that uh, Kenya's interest rate will be investing or lending rate. Kenya's interest rate will be the lending or the investing rate. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, that this is what I will do. I will come and say 100 times into bracket plus interest rate in Kenya is the lending or the investing rate. Are you guys able to see the investing rate here, Kenya? Are you guys able to see the investing rate of Kenya? Are you guys able to see the investing rate of Kenya? 18%, isn't it? So 0.18, and because it's a five months, so I have to multiply this with five over 12. All over one plus interest rate in the US is the borrowing rate. Interest rate in the US is the borrowing rate. Interest rate of the US is the borrowing rate. And the borrowing rate in the US, ladies and gentlemen, I can see it's 15%. So 0.15 times five over 12, because it's a five month, five months, or in this case here, yeah, a forward contract. So please move slowly. So then what do we have here, somebody? It's a hundred times. It's a hundred times. What do we have here, somebody, abracadabra? What do we have here, gong? Gong, what do we have here, a hundred times? One point zero seven five all over one point. These guys aren't talking to me. They're not talking to me. All over 1.0625. 1 1.0625. 1 I saw another student up there asking why not 102, and I'll be able to answer them. You see, spot rate is today's rate. Spot rate is a day rate which exists the time you are starting the whole transaction. Like they have told us up there, Biashara Limited is an import-export company based in Kenya. On 1st January 2017, the company, export, when they were exporting, the rate existing at the time of export is a spot rate. So therefore, 1st January 2017, 100 is a spot. Is a spot. So first of all, up to there, are we in agreement? Are we in agreement? Are we in agreement, really? Are we in agreement? Yes, those tables, those rates which we normally put in the legs of our money market are the ones we shall use, yes. 
So in this case here, this is 101, 101, 101.18. 101.18, 101.18, 101.18, what year are they? Cows, uh, what are they? Uh, they are Kenya shillings per what year somebody per dollar? Per dollar, Kenya shillings per dollar. Let me ask you a question for, be very honest. Is there a student who thinks would have really gotten this question correctly in an exam? Be very honest with me. Any student would have interpreted this question correctly in an exam? Kyoga, I don't understand your question there. I don't understand your question there. I don't understand your question there. Please make it clearer. The forward rate was confusing. Great, great, great. Still Kyoko, I'm not able to understand your question. I know you'll be able to post it, uh, give more, shed more light to it. So number one, using the interest rate parity relationship, compute the expected five month rate as a 31st May, 2017, five months. So today I want to project five months from today. And then number two, a device be a shutter limited on which is the better hedging strategy between a forward contract and a money market hedge. So I'd want us to start with forward contract. Forward contract. Explain the use of the 18%, 18%, 18%. Remember what you have said, lending rate. What you have said here, if you remember the money market, money market, what have we said about uh, Kenya? Kenya, we are investing. And the Kenya is the one that is on top, interest rate in Kenya. And investing is the same as lending. And you can see the lending rate from that table. Lending rate of Kenya is 18%. Lending rate of Kenya is 18%. Great. 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 And when you come down here, interest rate of US. US, what are we doing? Borrowing. And the borrowing rate, if you look at that table, borrowing rate of US. So long as uh, you, you can even use the example that uh, Leshamta has given us, that you can even decide to go and do the money market. And then those two interests you're using on, that, on those particular legs are the ones you pick, are the ones you pick. So now we are getting, ladies and gentlemen, the forward contract, the forward contract, forward contract. So Roman two, we have the forward contract now. This electricity is misbehaving today, but fortunately, we are still on, we are overcoming. Forward contract. Forward contract. I'm so sure there is somebody who is waiting for me to do it for them. You'll wait or oh, you'll wait the whole night and not do it. You're the ones who are doing. We've learned today that we must know how to be proactive. We must make our hands dirty in everything, in everything. We have to do these things. We have to do these things. We have to do. <laughs> we have to do these things. You must do these things. <laughs> you must do these things. Fortunately, I think something must have transpired since last time we spoke. When I spoke, when I was very angry, it's like I touched so many people. Now you guys are becoming so nice. This is what I wanted. Where people are coming out to do most of these things. They are now watching videos. Although the early morning video, when I checked, when I checked uh, in my Vimeo, it's like 50 of you have watched it, eh? the early morning video, the today's early morning video. Yes. <laughs> Great. So now here we have, it's a five months forward rate. The one that you have computed is the one you're using here. And then the amount to be confirmed here, is 140,000 US dollars. So here I normally get some, let me allow me to use them, to use the word crazy, not a very good, good word, but just allow me because these are adults here. So you get some crazy students from nowhere. They raise up their hand and now they're shaking a hand. So you are shaking your hand to where honestly here. Do we have a range? Do we have a range? No. So don't shake your hand. You don't waste your energy and time. Also don't waste your energy and time trying to describe and you're writing in capital letters and underlining role of the bank, which role now here? We only talk of role of the bank when there is a range. All right, so here go ahead and exchange directly and exchange directly. So we are saying here 101, 
0.18 Kenya shillings equals one dollar. So in this case, here, what about one forty thousand dollars like that? What about one forty thousand dollars? <laughs> I did ten tier. <laughs> You cross multiply. So you cross multiply. What amount are you able to get here, somebody? What amount are you able to get here, somebody? <laughs> 141, one for, quite a heavy amount. 141, 141, uh, 65, 200 Kenya shillings. 65, 200. So is this figure correct? Is this figure correct? 114, 165. 200. Thank you so much. Now, to be very honest, and uh, please, please don't hide me. I'm your, I hide this from me. I'm your father. Is there anybody who tried shaking their hand? Is there anybody who tried writing the role of the bank somewhere? Please be very honest. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> no, they have decided in this case here to go quiet on that. But the good thing is that uh, somebody has learned something. Somebody has learned something, isn't it? Somebody has learned something. <laughs> Somebody, thanks, John, at least for that kind of honesty. That is the honesty that we will always reward. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, from there, we go to money market because there are two possibilities here. So kindly do the one of money market. Give me an answer now. Give me the one of money market. Give me the one of money market, and I will be able to give you what here, give you the correct way of doing it. So money market right there in couple letters on the market, and then try with that table. So as you do this, try to remember what Malimu was saying, that we should not use, uh, in this case here, any piece of cloth on the table, nothing. Not even the small ones, which used to look fancy nowadays, everything, just invest in a good mahogany table, glass table, glass table. You walk light. You avoid so many diseases in the house. You walk light. No, 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 Kyoko, you. <laughs> Let me keep quiet because I've given you work to do. And then you're telling me where the role of the bank will come in under money markets, Kyoko. Is Jay Kyoko a man or a lady? We go to. Just a caution. When you get yourself, for example, taking like 10 minutes to do a question, 10 minutes to do a money market question, then know that you are absolutely wrong, wrong, wrong. Everything you're writing there will be wrong. A money market question should only be attempted in five minutes. Five minutes maximum. You are through. It doesn't entail so much. It doesn't entail so much. It doesn't entail so much so long as you remember so long as you remember this so is this a receivable question receivable question or payable we have exported so it's a receivable question so receivable and if it's a receivable then the rule is foreign boyfriend buys great because of foreign receipt so draw the table then come and tell us here, borrow. So remember, we are borrowing foreign. We are borrowing foreign. And the foreign is a US dollar. The US dollar. Foreign is a US dollar. And then we shall come and invest now the other currency, invest now the local currency, which in this case is the Kenya shilling, like that. And then now always we know that here we shall always convert at what here? Convert at spot. We shall convert at spot. So have they given us the spot exchange rate in this question? Have they given us the spot? I know the areas were still as confused. The today's rate is 100, isn't it? The today's rate is 100. 100 Kenya shillings per dollar. Is there anybody who used 101.18? Is there anybody just by mistake who used 101.18? Because I know that is where people go wrong. Anybody who used the forward? 101. Tunyamaza lakini najua lazima 
plasma. Yes, thanks, Susan, for coming up. Now you will never forget. For being honest, you'll never forget. Great. Now, how about borrowing of the US dollar? Are you able to see the borrowing rate of the US dollar? Are you able to see the borrowing rate of the US dollar? Are you able to see the borrowing rate of the US dollar? Yes. So borrowing rate of the US dollar, you had already given me a figure of 0 0.15 times. Again, there is a, a thing I normally see some students doing here. Yeah? Like you'll get a student telling you times three over two. You ask them why times three? They'll tell you, but Malimu, this is a formula. No, it's five, isn't it? So times five over 12, five months. All right. So how about in event? Okay, plus one, plus one. Please give me this answer first of all. Please give me this answer first of all. Thanks, Nathaniel. Nathan, give me this answer. This one times over 12 plus one. What, 10, 6, 25. 10, 6, 25 with a desk more. All right, and then we have here invest Kenya shillings, invest Kenya shillings. So investing Kenya shillings, are you able to see the interest rate of investing Kenya shillings? Investing Kenya shillings, are you able to see the interest rate? 18%, isn't it? So this is 0 0.18 times five over 12 plus one equals, equals, which will end up giving us now what figure? 1075. So we have here 1075 with a decimal there. Thank you so much. And then now we shall come and put the money in the question. And the money in the question, we shall always put it underneath the table, 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 which is 140,000 US dollars. 140,000 US dollars, 140,000 US dollars. So 140,000 US dollars here. So please pass on a feature. When I was starting life, at times I used to steal my wife's money. Fortunately, I confessed and I think I've repaid many times, isn't it? Why was I able to stay? Because she was not hiding it far away. I wasn't hiding it far away. She wasn't hiding it far away. So always hide it far away. Don't tempt us. Don't tempt us. So in this case here, up, what do we do? Up, what do we do? We divide, isn't it? So could you kindly give us, could you kindly give us this figure here? Up divide, up divide, up divide. <laughs> so up we are dividing. So 140,000 divided by this. 131, 131, 735, 765, eh? 765. And these are US dollar. Now here you have to use the exchange rate. So for conversion, for conversion, we know 100 Kenya shillings equals $1. How about 131, 765? No. 131, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1
Great. 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 And then, of course, you can now add device, isn't it? I'm so sure add device, you'll be able to do the add device very nicely. You'll be able to do the add device very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. You'll be able to do the add device very nicely. You'll be able to do the add device very, very nicely. I'm so sure, yes, that you'll be able to do. Okay.